This is going to be a quick guide showing you how to view your cameras that are connected to HitConnect on your PC. The first step is to create a HitConnect account. You can do this uh, on your PC by going to www.hit-connect.com. I'm going to assume that you've already made an account, or I have in this case. Um, if not, you can register for a new account. Uh, which will send you an email or a text message with a verification code which you need to verify before you can do anything with your account. But, uh, once you've made your account and you log in, you'll be on your device management page. From here, you can start populating your account with new recorders and cameras. Uh, as you can see, we've already got one added there. Uh, but I'm just going to add another one just to show you quickly how to do it. Uh, basically, if you if you log into your uh, record or camera on your local IP address, you can find out the address using the SADP tool from Hikvision. If we log in here, depending on the firmware, um, you can set your own verification code on the new firmware. So if we go to Network, Advanced Settings, Platform Access, you can see this one's enabled and it says that it's online and this is on newer firmware so we can view the verification code. So we've got the verification code and we can get the serial number from here which means that we can add it to our HIT Connect account. So we can add new device, enter the serial number, click the search and it shows that it's online. Click the plus, enter the verification code that we've uh, just seen there. Add. And it's, it's now showing on our device management screen. We've got two devices now added to our account. Uh, if you wish to, you can actually give this device a domain name by clicking the edit button over here. Uh, and if you've done port forwarding, you can also enter the manual ports. So we've got the devices online, we've got them on our account. The next step is to make it so we can view them. The easy way to do this is um, by downloading the IVMS 4200 client program. I'll just open that up. Uh, and all, all you've got to do with this is basically make sure that you have the um, correct device type enabled on the device management screen, where if you enable the HIC connect device all you've then got to do is really log in and you can view your cameras just wait for this to load and I'll show you so we go to device management and from here you can see everything that's available on your local network at the bottom we're not worried about that too much what we're worried about is here hit connect device now uh, depending on which version of IVMS you've got sometimes that hit connect device isn't there so what you have to do is click on this add new device type and literally put a tick in the hit connect device and that will then over here on the left hand side allow you to have hit connect device and log in. So again we log in using the hit connect account that we have set up. That's digital. Our password. Once logged in, it should show both recorders on there and all the cameras that are attached to them. There we are, I've got the two recorders, a hybrid one and an MVR. And if we click on the main view now, you'll see we've got a little folder over on the left hand side with our hit connect name and the cameras. Which Now, if for any reason your cameras uh, don't appear on this list, what you'll need to do, go to Control Panel, Device Management again, you've got this Group tab, and you can import cameras from different recorders. So if you see on here, it's camera 1 to 8 are on one recorder, 
and then it starts again. Camera one, two, three on the other recorder. If there aren't any cameras on here, you can import them into your group. So the Mass Digital uh, Hit Connect name is a called is a group. On the left hand side, you've got the cameras attached to one recorder and the cameras attached to another recorder. We could choose to import cameras from either into that group. Just use the import button there. But uh, this allows you to view cameras from both systems uh, on one screen. That concludes our little brief demo.